Okay, in this video, I'm going to be tinting the rear backup lens that you see here, this, this uh, lens piece here. First of all, obviously, you need to get your hood up. It's actually pretty easy to get this thing out. Um, there's, there's these 10 millimeter, um, they're like washer nuts that have to come off. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those off right now. Okay, this may be, give you a better view. There's the uh, latch for the trunk. Um, and as you can see there, there's one, and then I've already removed that one there. There's three, I've removed that one, and then there's four. They're all 10 millimeter, and they come out to release this piece right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting those two remaining out. Okay, I've went ahead and released, or removed, all of the 10 millimeter screw washers, and now we need to turn our attention to the actual lamps. You've got two backup lamps. There's one, there's the other, and then you have two license plate lamps, which there's one right there, and then there's one right there. Essentially, you just twist these counterclockwise and bring them out. Now, I'm actually gonna be using a sandwich bag here to actually cover the bulbs, simply because I don't want to get them exposed to you know greasy fingers or dirt or anything else like that. So that's the one thing you need to be aware of. Don't touch the actual glass on the bulbs and find a way to cover them up if you're gonna be doing this um, outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those down and covered up and then I'll be able to pull that whole assembly right out. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and taken all the bulbs out, set them aside safely, remove the four 10 millimeters uh, uh, nut bolts that are holding this thing on, we can actually start removing this. Now, they do, I've seen they've used a sticky back behind here that actually helps keep this in place, um, helps keep it from vibrating and things like that. It's pretty easy to get off. In fact, I'm going to be able to use just my fingers and probably just be able to pull it off. I'm going to have to use two hands, but essentially you just go around. You could use, you know, um, a piece of wood maybe, but I wouldn't want to damage um, the paint, so just be aware of that. Okay, so you can see here that I have removed it. It wasn't that difficult, as I said before. I just used my fingers and kind of went around a little bit and then just pulled out on it. Came right out just fine. This is what it looks like underneath. And you'll notice that this wire here actually runs underneath here and back around. You actually have to get this out. Um, it's essentially pretty easy. You just lift this tab up and it comes right off. So now this is released and we can get it inside and get it cleaned up and start to tint. It's uh, pretty basic, pretty easy to get out. Okay, so the first thing I'm actually going to turn my attention to is this uh, backup lamp. Uh, housing and as you can see here um, It's all one big piece. You've got your two backup lamps that are here and then uh, Underneath here you can see These two clear lens pieces right here that actually uh, that's where the bulbs for your license plate lamps go unfortunately with age things like this clear plastic they begin to um, look like they're scratched up. They uh, they just kind of fade, and um, they're not the clear plastic that you uh, see when they're brand new. Now you've got some options. You could, in fact, just um, buy one of those um, kits. Uh, they're actually kind of expensive, as far as I'm concerned. That uh, they basically do the work for you. It includes all the stuff, and you just basically you know apply the stuff and buff it. You follow the instructions and whatever. Or you could go the cheap route. And you could use ordinary toothpaste. As unusual as that sounds, ordinary toothpaste will actually get some and maybe even most of the wear out of these and clear these up really nice. And since I'm planning on tinting this, I need to make sure that this is the surface is, is as clear as possible. Because once I apply the tint on there, the only way that I'm going to be able to get it off is if I remove the tint and then try to clear these up. There's no point in me 
applying the tint on this if the, the plastic piece is all dirty because then it's just going to let even less light through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean this up really nice and you just use ordinary toothpaste. As unusual as that sounds. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we actually need to clean this. Soap and water, get it all nice and clean, then get it all dry, and then we can start applying the toothpaste. So I just basically have a rag with soap and water on it, and I'm just going to wipe this down really good and then dry it uh, off really good. Okay, so I've cleaned the surface. Uh, I've dried the surface. I just used soap and water and um, just gently went over it to clean it off, and then I just used a dry rag to dry it. So now I can actually apply the toothpaste, and you can use a sponge. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use one of these uh, special claws here that's supposed to mimic a sponge. It actually has a really soft kind of uh, texture to it. You don't want to use anything that's real rough, because then you're just going to do more damage. So you just use something that's you know soft, like a sponge, and you just apply the toothpaste onto the lens and then you you work it in and you continue to work it in basically you just keep going around and you'll notice that after a while it starts to become um, clearer and it starts to look better and uh, you just work it all around you know use some pressure you know not too much pressure but use some pressure just work it all around and um, then you should be uh, on your way alright so it's hard to tell on camera but I just got done applying the toothpaste I worked it in really good I have yet to actually clean it off yet but uh, I can already tell, the camera probably doesn't do it justice, but I can already tell how much clearer it is just by uh, looking at it. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, get my, um, my cloth that has the soap and water and uh, wash it off uh, really good and you'll be able to see the difference. Okay, so here's the end result and as you can see there is a big difference between where it was before and where it is now. I could probably work in a little bit more but uh, I'm fine with this. This looks a lot better than it did before. So it's dry, it's cleaned, it's been restored um, you know, a little bit and now I'm actually ready to start uh, the tint process. So let's talk for a second about tinting, okay? Your local area, your township, your county, your state, may have laws pertaining to actually tinting any item, okay? So you need to be aware of those. You need to be aware of all your local laws. For me, um, I am actually not going to be completely blacking out this lens piece. I'm just going to do what they refer to as smoke. So that this lens piece here will actually blend in with the surrounding paint on the car and it'll still let plenty of light through uh, the the backup lamps as well as the license plate lamps uh, the license plate lamps which are right here actually are going to be unaffected by this tinting I'm not going to tint this because it's actually hidden underneath and there's no real point the thing that I'm going to be tinting is um, this back portion here and as you can see here these are where your backup lamps are there are actually laws about tinting lenses this is a DOT approved lens and so you just need to be aware of any laws applicable and I've seen some people completely black out pieces like this their tail, uh, excuse me their tail lamps um, the headlamps and there's not much light that's going to get through tinting does is not a one-way mirror where you know it only lets light out but no light in it actually um, you know it will stop light from getting through not completely that's what tint is all about it's just like when you tint your um, your uh, car windows um, you know that's why when somebody's walking by your car they can't see you but you can see them but even still just imagine that the uh, the light you being inside your car it's harder to see outside of your car or things outside of your car because you've tinted the windows it's not impossible certainly or you wouldn't be able to drive but essentially what you're doing is you're darkening it up so that no one can see inside your car but you can still see them outside and you're effectively doing the same thing with tinting a lens piece you're letting the light out and not letting the light in um, so it's actually going to reduce the light output depending on how many coats you put on and so you need to make sure you consult your local laws about tinting because there may be some restrictions or 
anything else like that so just make sure you cover that first uh, before you begin tinting um, this piece. So what I'm actually going to be using to tint this piece is actually a Rust-Oleum lens tint and this Rust-Oleum lens tint um, was you know it was made specifically to spray on plastic clear plastic lenses it's not something you would spray on your windows um, it's just to spray on plastic clear plastic lenses and I got this at my local hardware store well automotive store for uh, 12 bucks and it will do several coats of my uh, tail lamps my headlamps and then this plastic piece right here so I'm not really worried about having to buy another can or whatever but depending on how many coats you put on you may need another can but this should be plenty um, so essentially this is like spray paint you basically just spray it across the object like you would be spray painting any other object and it will basically darken to your eyes it'll darken the uh, plastic it's actually gonna let less light in it's also gonna let less light out however depending on how many coats that's usually not a problem if you put 20 coats on yeah you're gonna completely black it out and then no lights gonna be able to get out but a couple of coats is definitely safe it really was it'll really darken it up and still allow you to be able to use your uh, backup lamps to see where you're going when you're actually in reverse so um, but this this is pretty much available I you know I think you can get it at Walmart and all these other places um, so uh, it's you know it's pretty easy instead of having to use a film like you would on your windows you know apply a film you know cut custom cut a film they, you know you would put on the back here and then apply it like you would window tint you can just use this stuff and just spray it on and uh, I find this actually to be much easier um, now you could in fact tint this piece while it's still on your car if you wanted to you don't necessarily have to remove it I just find it easier to to remove it and that way I don't risk spraying over on other pieces I don't have to tape anything off I have the piece right here and I can just you know at my leisure basically be able to tint it without having to worry about uh, you know tinting anything else on the car so um, yeah so this this bottle right here is gonna get me what I need and I'll show you exactly how to do this okay here's the finished product on the um, backup lens and as you can see here it's now totally blacked out I decided to smoke it instead of actually completely darkening it um, I really like the look of the the semi dark um, lenses rather than the completely fully blacked out lens so um, if you wanted to completely black anything else like this then you would have to um, use a, a more vigorous coat each time so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, reinstalled and I'll show you what it looks like when it uh, is all lit up okay so this is a daytime view and as you can see here these still shine through just fine in the daytime so if it were daytime and I was backing up people would still be able to see in fact that I am backing up and I'm glad that I got both of these fixed and I know it's probably hard to see, but both of the license plate lights are working. That I'll have to show you when it's actually dark outside, but so far success. And I'll get you a shot of the the, uh, the nighttime so you can see just how good this looks. 